hello everyone in this section we will see the uh, confined and unconfined aquifer and its uh, derivation so let us start about confined and unconfined aquifer so here it is we will firstly move with the uh, definition and then we will see the properties of uh, aquifer and then we will see Darcy's law and finally we will move on to the uh, derivation of confined and uh, unconfined aquifer so what is aquifer so aquifer can be defined as the storage or as well as transmission of water aquifer is a medium which stores water as well as transmits the water so it can be defined as the storage or transmission of water is known as aquifer so here are the some of the properties of aquifer such as uh, porosity then the specific yield uh, specific retention then storage by efficiency or we can say as the uh, field capacity and the permeability last but not the least it is a transmissibility here the figure shows that the uh, shows the uh, combination of the uh, permeability that the uh, stone has or the gravel has the more permeability as compared to the sand and uh, the clay has more uh, sand has more permeability as compared to the clay so here it shows the more permeability at top and uh, less permeability at bottom side so here we will see the uh, properties in details so first it is a porosity so the porosity of surface soil decrease as the particle size decrease it says that as the particle size decreases porosity of surface uh, also decreases soil surface surface soil decreases as particle size decreases second it is a specific yield what is a specific yield so quantity of water which a unit volume of aquifer after being saturated will yield by gravity that which means after uh, after uh, excess amount of saturation uh, the uh, water will yield due to gravity so due to gravity it is known as specific yield now filled capacity filled capacity means amount of water present in soil after excess passing for example uh, we have we are passing the water through a soil uh, uh, layer then uh, 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 excess amount of uh, water is passed through this uh, layer of soil and after draining this water uh, uh, the water can uh, the water can store in this uh, layer so it is known as field capacity so the specific retention so specific retention means amount of water contained after applying the external pressure for example in this figure only uh, or we can draw a new figure is if this is a soil layer and it contains the uh, uh, water in this uh, soil and we apply a external pressure on this to remove the water so the amount of water contained after applying the external pressure or force after drain after pre after applying the pressure on this uh, soil uh, the uh, water will be removed from it and the and the water content which is present in this uh, uh, this uh, layer after external pressure is known as specific retention now last but not the least the permeability the permeability may be defined as the time taken by the water to move from one meter of soil as we know that the gravel has uh, more permeability as compared to sand and sand has more uh, permeability as compared to clay so we will see some of the terminologies first it is a aquif aquifer second it is a aquiclude third it is a aquitard and uh, fourth is a, it is a aquifuge so aquifer is a uh, we can say aquifer is a uh, th uh, what we can say is the aquifer is one of the layer or one of the uh, muddy uh, one of the uh, soil uh, layer which stores 
as well as yield or transmits the water which which stores the water as well as transmits the water from layer now second it is a equicluid equicluid is that that can store water but not sufficiently transmit the water it can store water but cannot transmit not cannot transmit sufficient amount of water third it is a equitard so in equitard it can store water but not readily transmit the water it cannot readily transmit the water so last but not the least it is a aquifuge aquifuge is a layer which do not stores the water and do not transmit the water it is it will be easier uh, to remember this table as in this form only it will be uh, easier to you to remember next we will see the darcy's law uh, darcy's law uh, so let us start with darcy's law here i have given the, the meaning or the full form of the uh, abbreviations v velocity i is equals to hydraulic gradient q is equals to discharge a is equals to area and k will be the coefficient of permeability so let us see darcy's law darcy's law states that velocity is directly proportional to the hydraulic gradient velocity is a v which is proportional to the hydraulic gradient i so v is equals to v is directly proportional to i so we have to multiply uh, uh, to remove the proportional we have to uh, multiply the uh, constant uh, or the coefficient of coefficient uh, of permeability with the hydraulic gradient so we, we will have the velocity as velocity is equals to coefficient of permeability into hydraulic gradient which is v is equals to k into i we know that velocity uh, we know that the discharge discharge can be defined as uh, area into velocity so q is equals to velocity into area we have uh, we have the value of velocity as k into i so we have to uh, put the value of uh, velocity as k into i and we will have the equation of discharge as q is equals to k into i into a discharge is equals to coefficient of permeability into hydraulic gradient into area so transmissibility which is uh, which is uh, denoted by a uh, t capital t which is equals to k into b so the k is the coefficient of permeability and b is equals to width of aquifer so coefficient of velocity into width of aquifer which is equals to k into b now reynolds number reynolds number uh, generally we will see the terms that reynolds number if reynolds number is uh, r is less than 2000 uh, it is laminar flow uh, uh, then the 2000 less than r is less than 4000 it will be unstable flow and r is greater than 4000 it will be turbulent flow uh, generally we will assume the reynolds number is uh, less than 1 which is laminar flow so let us see the some of the assumptions made by the Darcy's. So the first assumption is homogeneous and isotropic. The condition is homogeneous and isotropic. There is a steady drawdown. So here it is a steady drawdown. It can say a drawdown. It is a steady drawdown. Then transmissibility is constant at all point. Trans transmissibility is constant at all point and last but not the least uh, it's uh, it follows the reynolds number less than one which is laminar flow so let us talk about the aquifer so the aquifer uh, we have seen that the aquifer is a layer or a medium which stores water or transmits the water okay so uh, there are two kinds of uh, aquifer we will see and we will derive the uh, derivation for the both first it is a, a confined aquifer and uh, second it is a unconfined aquifer so let us start with the derivation so first we will see the under uh, the derivation for unconfined aquifer 
so first of all you have to plot this kind of figure uh, in generally uh, generally in the examinations they uh, directly give the question like derive uh, the derivation for confined aquifer or derive the derivation for unconfined aquifer they do not provide this figure so what we have to do we have to uh, provide the ba uh, initially base as the aquifer layer above it it will be the uh, ground water table and above it it will, it will be the uh, ground level we have to provide one of the well with uh, uh, with uh, which has 2r its distance and uh, two of the observations well and we have to provide the uh, cone of depression for the main well and uh, uh, this kinds of uh, d uh, d uh, readings should be provided like such as observation well it will be s1 the height will be s1 h2 s s s1 h1 like this s h like this we have to provide you can also uh, refer the uh, books by uh, the authors which 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 uh, provides this kinds of figures and uh, derivations so as we know that we have derived uh, the Darcy's law as q is equals to k into i into a which means uh, the dis uh, discharge is equals to uh, coefficient of permeability into hydraulic gradient into area so let us uh, uh, see the value of area so the area will be 2 pi we have to first uh, we have to see the both uh, both side x and y so uh, in x so the yeah, so the value of area will be 2 pi x y 2 pi x and y we have to see both the directions x and y direction so the next the uh, value of i will be height upon width so we will have as we have the height as y and the width as x so it will be dy by dx let us move ahead so uh, we know that q is equals to k i a so we have to just put the value of a and i in this equation so we will found the equation as q is equals to k into the value of a as 2 pi x y and the value of i as dy upon dx so the so next we have to uh, put the uh, we have to uh, make the x value on the right side and uh, so left side and the y values on the right side so we have done the, as q is q dx upon x is equals to 2 pi k y dy now this equation is to be uh, 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 integrated uh, the left left side should be integrated by capital R and small r which means it is a distance from center of the well to the uh, to the completion of the cone of depression and and the small r is the uh, the diameter we can say the uh, it shows the diameter of the uh, well now right side portion should be integrated by capital H and small h which shows the distance or the we can say the depth from the water level to the aquifer and uh, the small h shows the uh, depth from the uh, water in the well from and to the uh, to the uh, level of the aquifer so after uh, deriving or integrating that equation we will found the uh, discharge and uh, the equation as in this form and uh, so the uh, so we have to integrate it and we will found the equation such as q is equals to in r upon r which is, is equals to pi k h square minus h square so uh, uh, making subjective to the uh, discharge we will found the uh, derivation or the equation for the discharge from unconfined aquifer as discharge is equals to pi k break into bracket h square minus h square upon 2 point <laughs> sorry 2.303 log r upon r now uh, let us see about the confine so for the confine we know 
similarly uh, q is equals to k i a which uh, here in uh, confined aquifer it will be two kinds of uh, two uh, aqu uh, aquifer layers and uh, the uh, between uh, the height between two aquifer layer we will consider as b the change in this will be uh, the the value of y will be uh, y will be uh, pl replaced as as a b because the y is the height but we have to consider y as a height between uh, two aquifers so it will be considered as b so i is equals to dy upon dx area is equals to 2 pi x b so the q is equals to k divided by b dx and uh, a, a value of area is 2 pi x b so we have to similarly we have to uh, make the xx value on the uh, re left side and y values on the right side and we have to similarly divide the uh, right uh, left side with the r capital r and small r integrate with it and uh, right side of value with capital h and small h De uh, after de derive uh, integrating it we will have the value like this so the uh, as we know that the capital H minus small h we will have the uh, value like this is this is a capital H and uh, uh, this is the small h so minus so subtracting capital H minus small x we will have the value as s so we have replaced the value of a capital H minus small s small h as small s so now after this we have to make the subjective as the discharge q so as we will place the uh, make the subjective discharge q we will have the derivation or equation for the confined aquifer as 2 pi bks upon in r upon r so here we have seen the uh, some of the uh, definition terminologies properties uh, darcy's law uh, some of the types of aquifers and uh, the derivations for it so uh, let me know if you want another kinds of videos uh, regarding uh, any topic uh, and uh, like subscribe and comment thank you